Which is better, load balancers or manifolds? Let's find out. All right, so let's start off with load balancing. Load balancing two machines is really simple. All you need to do is place one splitter down and you just connect the two machines up. If you have, let's say 60 per minute coming in, so 60 iron ingots per minute, one splitter will split this up perfectly. If you have three machines, it still works. You'll just need Mark 2. Well, technically here you only need Mark 1. But whatever's coming in needs to be Mark 2. And that'll still work because you are splitting 90 evenly between the three. And then when it gets a little bit more complicated is when you have to have more than three. So let's do a constructor for an example, the fourth one there. So now what you have to do is you have to set one up like that and then one on the outside and then you need to do your splitters like this and this will handle 120 items per minute for iron plates for example. This is just for iron plates, other recipes will require different setups but that's how you would set up a four machine load balance for iron plates. Every example I'm using is gonna do iron plates. It gets a lot more complicated when you start looking at five and when you start looking at higher numbers. So for example, let's look at what would happen if we had 10. There is a website, or there's probably a couple websites, but the one I'm using, I'll link in the description. This website allows you to put in how many items you are putting in per minute and how many machines you are splitting between and what the input, like how many uh, of that item each of them takes. So let's say for example, I'm bringing in 300, splitting between 10 machines that each take 30 per minute. It gave me a whole graph. All right, so we know we got 300 that we need to bring in. So we're gonna line one up here, right in the middle, and we'll put a splitter there. So we're gonna split this up into 150, 150. And then from there, we know that we need to split this again to be half and half. All right, so we need three machines on one splitter. We need another three machines on another splitter. And then the final two machines will go on the last splitter here. So one there and one here. So we know that we're gonna be getting 90 to go each direction. So we can split it like that. And like that. And we know that we're gonna get 30 on each of these. So we'll just set up all of our Mark I belts as such. All right, so this isn't going to be properly load balanced because we got half going here, but it's splitting three ways. And we got half going this direction, but it's only splitting two ways. So we need to take our third direction and come back to the beginning of the loop. And we need to merge it back into the original line. So we just need to set a merger out front of these. And then just connect them up. And I need to set these the proper direction. Otherwise it's gonna look goofy. And then we just connect those up. And now we should see 150 going through here. Well, we'll see 180 going through here with the 30 coming back once everything is properly load balanced. And then that means we'll have 180 on each of these. So 90 will go this direction, 90 will go this direction, split up 30, 30, 30. This will split up 30, 30, 30. And then this line here will be 150, merging with the 30, that'll give us 180. And then same thing with this one. And then we can just connect all this up and we can watch it happen. So we'll see all the, the 150 and the 150. Now technically this is gonna be a lot higher of a speed because we're not pulling from a miner. We're pulling from here so it can actually handle more. But 
you get the general gist to this. This is how you load balance it. If your miner is only pulling 300, this is the way to load balance it. But your whole factory will start up immediately. And that's the beauty of load balancing. But it can get complicated, it can get confusing, and it can get large. And this is only 10 machines. Now imagine if you had 40. It gets a little complicated. So that's how you load balance. Now manifolds are a lot simpler. A lot simpler. Much like a two machine manifold, you really only need one. That's where manifolds and load balancing overlap because it does the same thing. But let's say you have the four machine like we have here. A manifold is a lot easier to set up. All you have to do is set up splitters down the line and then you just set up your belts in between them and there's a little bit of a startup to cost. So once all this starts running, the first machine will fill up, then the second, then the last two will be load balanced and that's how a manifold works. It's pretty simple, it's nice, it's easy to set up, it is a lot smaller to set up. Alright, so in a 10 manifold system, it's still pretty simple. All you have to do is set up your splitter line all the way down. And then set up the maximum speed belt that you need. For example, this one requires 300 items per minute. So we'll just set up a Mark IV belt all the way down the line. And connect them into each machine. And then we connect it up to our input. And then we just watch them split up. And you'll see it starts with one. Then moves on to the next and all the way down. But it will fill this one up first. And some of these will run, but they'll kind of sputter in and out. Uh, since we're dealing with 480, <laughs> this will work a little bit better instead of 300. But if we were to do 16, you would actually see a difference. So now that I got 16 of these set up, you'll see these last machines won't even get an ingot until much later. So they won't turn on, but once this one fills up, moves on to the next one, that one fills up, moves on to the next one, that one fills up, moves on to the next one. This one will get filled up eventually, and then it'll move on to the next one, and so on and so forth, until eventually they all are perfectly balanced. But it's got a long load time before we can actually get going. So that's the downside of a manifold. But it is a lot more compact and a lot easier to set up than a load balancer would be. Now we can take this line and we can compact it even further. We can set them up like this. We have five on this side, five on that side, and we set up the splitters in between. And then we do the same thing with the belts, except now we connect all three directions. And then we connect up the input. And now we're dealing with two getting turned on at the same time. And then the next two, and then the next two, and then the next two, and so on. So this is more compact, doesn't take up as much room. And it does essentially the same thing that this does, just smaller. Now there is a possibility to stack this vertically. Now, I don't really do this because it's not practical for my use, but you can do this if it interests you. So, I would recommend you start lower. So, start lower than where you are, where the first machine is, and aim it towards your input, and then bring this up above your last set of machines, and then bring the splitter, and you can turn it, make sure it's facing both machines, Rotate it properly and attach it to the lift all the way up. And then connect your belts to set up your vertical manifold. And this is possible with manifolds. You can do it with load balancing, but that's just going to take up a lot of space and is not practical. Then you can chop off the top there and that's all you need. So you can set this up vertically too, which is really nice to do. So you can see this is now 
load balance, or this is now manifolding vertically, which is definitely more interesting to do. <laughs> load balancing would be a lot more difficult vertically. So that's the difference between manifolds and load balancers. Load balancers are practical in certain cases. I like to load balance my power. Load balancing power is really nice because you can get your power started up right away. You can manifold your power, but you gotta wait till the till they all you gotta wait till all of your power plants get full of fuel before you turn them on. With load balancing, you don't have to worry about that. Manifolds are more practical for everything. I prefer to manifold everything. So if I'm setting up hundreds of machines, they will all be manifolded. And I have been doing that, in fact. You should go check out my nuclear power plant. It's called Satisfactory Project Nuclear Overdrive. I've released two episodes to that so far. Where the first episode, I am producing 15,000 plus iron ingots. And the second episode, I'm producing 37,000 plus copper ingots. You can see how I manifolded all of that. So yeah, that is load balancing versus manifolds. They both have their, they both have their uses, but I prefer manifolds. You can pick whatever you want to do. If you are confused on how to load balance 12 machines, click the link in the description for the website, and that'll show you how you can do it. 